Today we're gonna be watching another world record speedrun. This is the last one in the Infinite Warfare Zombies uh, world record speedrun series. And uh, this one's my favorite map ever. I, I, I love this map. I beat it my first try last time I played. Oh my ah, god, I'm just... Maybe yeah, you're no, 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 no. you, Infinite Warfare. F you, brother. And today I can't wait to see just how the world at record speedrun looks for this absolute beauty of a map, perfectly designed in all way, shapes, and sizes. Truly just an absolutely elite map. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the world record speedrun from my boy Plasma Jeff. And not only are we gonna be watching the world record speedrun of, you know, this map in and of itself, like the map being beaten, but we're also after that going to be watching the world record Mephistopheles boss fight speedrun, which I, of course, you know, being the person that I am, beat on the first try. F you, brother. So, you know, that is uh, how, how it goes. I'm not gonna lie. We're just gonna go ahead and floss through the uh, through the first four rounds of this because he just sits here and he just shoots cryptids. I, I accidentally clicked like this far in the video and he, he just shoots cryptids for like for like four rounds. So here we go. Cue, cue, cue the speed up. Okay, and we're back, everyone, with the actual world record speedrun reaction here. I'm glad we got through uh, that really, really interesting and exciting first couple rounds on this flawlessly designed map that no one has any problems with whatsoever because it's absolutely glorious. So, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, here we go. We're getting started with the first step of the Easter egg. He is looking around the map. He's going to grab that first part of the Neil head. And what do you know? Wouldn't you believe it? He's back to just shooting cryptids again. No one, no one could have possibly seen this coming, that he would be back to shooting cryptids again. Oh, 300 bonus dollars for each kill with a sniper rifle. Okay, he's activating his trap card here, his fate and fortune card to get some more money. I'm guessing he's gonna buy an M1 Garand or whatever that gun is that uh, allows you to get extra points. Cause there's like one that lets you get, counts as extra points even though it's not really a sniper rifle. This map is truly, this, this map truly is just the most, you know what, speed it up, back to flossing again. Okay, okay, and we're back, and we're back, and we're back, okay. Perfect, now that he is done with all of these initial steps here, he can go ahead and place Neil's head into the computer, and that is going to allow him to progress onto the next step. Uh, I, of course, know all these Easter egg steps, being a, an absolutely flawless uh, infinite warfare player. There we go. He gets a max ammo there. I didn't. I never really got a max ammo in my playthrough, but that's besides the point. Uh, anyway, so here he goes. He's going to be looking for the. Uh, oh, he's actually he's actually going to immediately grab the double pack a punch fuses there, meaning that this is an any percent run. He can use any sort of fate and fortune cards he wants, and he can also go ahead and use that uh, that big boy double pack a punch here. And I'm wondering if that's what he's going to do. Also, is he getting these 300 extra points for these? No, he's not. So he, he just activated the fate and fortune card and it's just gonna go ahead and chill chill with him until uh until he needs it. So he's he's basically just trying to make as many points as humanly possible right now in this playthrough. Oh he got an ammo clip there. Is he gonna grab it? Oh my god, that lag. Oh my god, that lag. What a flawless video game. Oh, here we go. Sniper rifle bullet hits are always critical. Okay, huge. So he's got he's got a lot of stuff set up here where whenever he gets a sniper rifle, he's gonna be making so much cash and i'm guessing that's going to be what he uses to go ahead and use those sniper things so here we go first step he's going to go ahead and shoot that big boy out of the way he's going to go ahead and activate this which is something that you need for building pack a punch which is of course needed for the easter egg he's going to stand on top of this little uh ghost and skulls thing and he's going to go ahead and chill here so all he needs to do here is survive until the very, very end of this, uh, of the little skull thing rising up and he needs to go grab it. And that's going to give him the entanglement device, also known as the ED. Um, and he's going to do this obviously on round five because it's as, it's much, much easier that way. And he has a pretty, pretty customized and upgraded, uh, starting weapon here, which is really, really nice for getting a good run on this game. Um, because obviously if you have no attachments, you're going to be running out of ammo a lot faster. Not naming any names here. Anyway, so he just needs to survive for a little bit more, and he's going to use this to progress the progress the round and get a few more points. I'm excited to see what actual sniper rifle he buys here, because he has all of these cards queued up that aren't actually going to activate until he starts using a sniper rifle. But he hasn't he hasn't grabbed one yet. He's still he's still hanging out with his uh, his starting weapon. Looks like he is definitely playing on PC. There goes the uh, the skull here. Not the greatest skull spawn. 
Because he's going to have to go all the way over here and then jump off to get it. There we go. He's got it. He's got the entanglement device. Beautiful. And now he's going to look to do... Uh, is he just looking in the round here? He might be looking in the round because points are just such a big part of this. He is going to maybe use that nuke. Or no, it looks like he is just trying to end the round as quickly as as quickly as humanly possible. Uh huh. He knows he's getting toward the end. I think he. I think he. He's. He's. He's gravitating toward grabbing this nuke. He's not going to use the C4. And there we go. He's going to use the nuke to end the round as quickly as possible. He now has 8,300 points, which is a pretty, pretty good chunk. And I believe he's going to go ahead and go over here and get the pack a bunch part now, since this is the, the part that makes the most sense on why he would go now. So he's going to run up here. He is going to grab the vapor as well, which is a absolutely stellar gun in this game. Uh, probably one of the best that you can get. Oh, he's going to get the reel here, which actually isn't a requirement for beating the Easter egg, but he's going to go ahead and grab it anyway. He's going to grab the longbow, which he is now hopefully going to use to go ahead and uh, acquire all these points that he has been racking up. Okay. He's going to go ahead and grab the dead eye, which is going to allow for a lot better hip fire. And he's going to line all these guys up. And one huge... Look how many points out of the single shot that he gets there. Oh my lord. Look how many points he gets here. Woo! He's getting like a thousand points a shot. And he's still got a ton of zombies left. Oh my god, that's disgusting. That's actually disgusting how many points he's getting here. Like, and, and it's counting as a headshot for all of them. And is it, he, he gonna go ahead and go? So he, he's really banking on the boss fight being as fast as possible because he has plenty of points to do a lot of the Easter egg right now. But he's saying, no, I want that double pack a punch with the fuses to really, really help me melt my way through the boss fight, which is very well balanced, by the way. The boss fight is extremely well balanced. Everyone knows it. Pain and suffering. <laughs> uh, anyway, so he's gonna go ahead and use this insta kill for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the pain that I have knowing that I literally like if you haven't seen that video Go watch my playthrough of this map that I did recently go like please Please just go watch the playthrough of this map that I did recently Okay, big shot it's up to 13k points which again is more than enough There it is 15k points again. It's absolutely unfair what this man is doing here He's, try he's trying to make use of every single shot, giving him a, the biggest multi-kill he can so he gets the most points possible. Okay, so he's used up the rest of his fortune card. And I believe, now that his fortune card is gone, he's ready to go ahead and teleport out. And, again, almost 20k points under his belt for this. I would not be surprised if he goes on a big perk run here. He's going to grab the helmet here, or one of the many helmets in this map. And he's going to use this... Oh my god, the movement tech. The movement tech to move with this thing. He's going to shoot that there. He's going to go ahead and get the first uh, the first uh, of the key cards. And he's going to go ahead and write this down. Now he already has... Well, now he has two parts to pack a bunch. He already has all of the sheets like pulled up, so he doesn't actually need to check any of the sheets. The sheets are the same every game. So he needs to grab the four key cards know what symbols they are and that's going to tell him what order to put them in once he grabs all four of them so and then i'm, I'm assuming he's going to grab the last part to pack a bunch right here which i think oh, is the last one yeah that's that that's the last one that he needed so huge cryptid killed another cryptid killed so every, every so often you just get some random cryptid spawns and has he shot the uh I don't think he, I don't think he's grabbed the key card out of the uh, the thing with the entanglement device yet. So he's probably going for that last. Knowing how it is used, he's gonna construct the bridge. Again with the movement tech, he's gonna teleport to the projection room. What did he just do? Did he just pack? Oh, did he just uh, put in the fuses? Is that what he did? I think he just put in the... No, he didn't put in the fuses. What did he just do there? What kind of treachery has he befallen? So now he knows two of the key cards. 
Should be getting the last one right here. He's gonna, he needs to shoot it in the vent. And now is the little part where he gets lucky. Oh, yeah, of course. He gets the very first vent spawn. So he knows the... Uh, he knows the order. That's him just using using his uh, using his time to check the order, and then also he's gonna kill this thing right next to a uh, double cash carpenter. He's gonna go ahead and just get some extra points as well. I like how all his fate and forge cards are just based around giving him money. So he he, he led the little alien over here so that he can read the card. Put in two as quickly. This is actually genius to lead the alien and kill him right next to it and then not pick it up, but just read the card that's on there. Because now he has almost everything he needs. And he doesn't have to run halfway across the map to grab the last card. He has three out of four of them. He, he just has to go and pick up one more, which is actually so genius. The, the way that is set up is so, so smart. Because you have to get the four key cards and you have to pick them up one at a time if you're doing it solo. Really, really smart way to do this. Like, good on him. Good on him. Smart lad. And now we get to see the part that drove me physically crazy when I played. He's already on this, which is nuts. It's the right thing to do. All right, there we go. There's number four. And now Neil is going to get angry and he's going to start shutting doors and crap. And hopefully don't get squished by it. It's the right thing to do. So Neil is going to start getting angry, shutting doors and whatnot. He is going to go ahead and go back over and do the step where you need to. Wait, what? Oh, he's doing... This is really interesting. Never have I ever seen people do side Easter eggs during a main Easter egg run. So he's doing the Brute Helmet Easter egg. And then he... What in the world? Oh, so that's how you get the uh, lightning fuses. So he sent the button back to Beast from Beyond. He has the lightning fuses, which means he can double pack a punch now. He's pressing the button. Oh my god, that was so clean. So now he has hacked Neil. My god, how is that so clean? Dog, what? So he's... Okay, I want to see how he does this. Because this is... Oh my god, the movement. That's how he's doing it. He does it with the movement. Oh my god, dude, it's so annoying. How? Okay, so this is the part that killed me like 18 times. Wait, how did he open the door like that? I hate this map. I, this, this is the worst design. I, I can't keep up the front anymore. This is the worst design map I've ever seen in my entire life. So he's ready to go to boss fight right now. Like, this is the last step before boss... Is he gonna... No shot he does this boss fight without perks, right? Install alien fuse. He's gonna upgrade his VPR once. Oh, wait, does he... Wait, it's only 10k? So he times it... So it puts him into the boss fight before he is he has even picked up the weapon. So he's going into this ridiculous boss fight with no perks. Just like magic. Five, increases damage after reloading for five seconds. Okay. So he gets extra damage. I am so excited to see how he does this boss fight with no perks. Yeah, how, how? My brother in Christ, how are you alive? Okay, he's gonna grab some more ammo here. Last four bullets of your clip have increased damage. Oh my, dude, how? I, I literally am just howling at how he managed to do this boss fight with no jug. I know the VPR is strong. And I know it's double pack a bunch, which isn't normal for the boss fight. But how? So he, he has increased damage after reloading. 
Um, last four bullets of his gun do increase damage. So basically, when he when he's close to reloading, he's actually going to just become a beast. I mean, that does do an insane amount more damage. Okay. There's the first stage done. That gets that gets opened. Oh! He picked up the free perks early before going down. That's how I knew the free perks were up there, but I didn't realize you could grab them without going down. I like how he didn't pick up quick revive. Well, quick revive's not there, but he just literally doesn't have quick revive at all. I mean, it makes sense. Like, I mean, that's how you get a world record. You you expect to win. You don't set up for failure. You know what I mean? Well, that makes that okay. That makes so much more sense. His guns are gonna absolutely clap with bang bangs now. Also, didn't realize that those turrets were a thing until it was really kind of too late. Okay. Oh, he's sitting inside the tube so the turret doesn't hurt him either. Bro, this boss fight has a lot of tips and tricks, doesn't it? Oh my god, this gun absolutely melts with bang bangs. Double pack a punch on round seven. And I believe the boss fight actually scales to what round you are for this game. So this is an insanely, insanely OP setup he has now. Like, I'm excited to see how he, how fast he kills these rhinos. Yes, a I'm really good with okay. He needs to turn on all the computers. There's one. Two. And three. Oh my god, look at the speed. Look at the absolute speed of this man. All right, so he is finished with that step of the boss fight. Why is he grabbing ammo for the sniper rifle? <laughs> but why? <laughs> he does have sniper rifle bullets are all always critical hits, but why? But why? I'm so confused. 14k points doesn't really matter okay so so what's happening now is there's a 99 second timer counting down and he just has to survive oh the perks respawn on that phase what okay now he's deciding to train the train the zombies around and he's not killing them for what I could not tell you. I guess, I mean, this part is just, this part is just survive. I guess it, it makes sense. You don't have to kill anything. The timer goes down whether you're killing or not. So he's just literally just not killing. Huh? Dog, I am so confused. All right, well, I mean, it makes sense. We'll see, we'll see how he does. Oh, now he's gonna kill. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if he just like, wants to get toward the end of it and then kill all at once so they don't respawn. I remember when I could see colors. Cause definitely whenever you kill the rhino, the next one spawns. Increased damage four seconds after reloading is absolutely massive. He is melting these. These rhinos literally can't even get to him. Dude, he does so much damage with these fate fortune cards. Or fortune cards, rather. He does need to go for an ammo refill after this next reload. Okay. Believe the 99 seconds should be up right about now. So he, he should be uh, ooh, absolutely chilling to go hit it here. Okay, yeah, that was his last reload. 
He only has the the ammo he has in his inventory right now. Okay. Computer. Computer almost done. He he's got all of his uh Okay, well That's it. I mean, I mean th that that was the last thing he needed to do You can shoot it early Oh my god, these things are so powerful and he has just done so much damage already I wonder how much extra damage those last four bullets are doing Bro, even with how OP he is. He is still having trouble with these guys. He needed that ammo. Oh my god. Last four bullet buff. Bro, they are so tanky. Yeah, Rhinos, come back. Yeah, the blue fire on the ground also like basically one shots you. Oh my god, how are they not dying, bro? Oh my god, imagine he dies right here. Steps into some blue lava. Bro, kid, bro, just kill him, lol. I, 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 I remember that they were tanky, but this is otherworldly tanky. He also needs to get ammo now, which he is very close to being out of. Oh my god, I forgot Cryptid spawn in as well. This boss fight is BS, dude. I don't care what anyone says. This boss fight is BS. Okay, he hits the reload right there for the boosted damage. Finally, he got the first one. He's been kind of splitting the damage though, so the second one should go down more easily. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just ran straight past him. He's also getting the Dead Eye Dewdrops buff from it as well. Oh, he almost stepped in that lava. That would have been his run over. Okay, is that boss? Holy crap. Oh my god, bro, literally, uh, you know what? You know what? No, just no. Guys, make sure you go subscribe. Plasma Jeff, leave a like. I don't, uh, this guy, Plasma Jeff is, is by far the most patient man on the face of planet Earth. Truly the most patient man on the face of planet earth to, in order to beat that boss fight and this man right here Is the most patient and cracked man on the face of planet earth ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I'd like to introduce you all I'd like to introduce you all to burrow Make sure you go down and leave a like on his video because my friends We are now gonna watch if that was the most bullet spongy boss. This is the most why is this the most unfair thing I've ever seen in my entire life, boss? We are watching the Mephistopheles boss fight here, which is truly. What am I? Okay, it's been 10 seconds. Literally, what am I witnessing? Oh my god. The methodical plays coming out of this man. Oh my god, this reticle is sick. What? This reticle is amazing. Hello? Bro, I know you had some sick cosmetics, I gotta say. Some absolutely nutty cosmetics. All right, next phase already of the boss fight. Instantly reload hell weapon after each, wait, after each what kill? After each headshot kill, how long does that last? 
Okay, Mephistopheles is sending the sun at you. Bro, this this is I, I I think this actually is a really, really cool and balanced boss fight. I don't I don't think the uh the what's it called? The Beast from Beyond boss fight is very balanced. I don't actually enjoy it at all. This map, on the other hand, is really, really effing hard, but I think it's balanced. Like, I don't think it's really hard, but I don't think it's just like unfair in stupid ways. Well, maybe a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit. We'll, we'll have to try it out eventually. If you guys ever want me to actually try it out. Dude's just launching literal meteors at you. Dude, how is he, how is he this cracked with launching spirit bombs at Mephistopheles? With the entangler. Okay, another rune down on him. He's gonna go down to the middle. All right. Holy crap. He's creating the sun. My man does not care in the slightest about what he's doing. Oh, little max ammo there. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Also, this is the most like accurate timing ever that you can get because this is actually the boss rush mode where you just fight Mephistopheles. Also, that Venom X is insanely, insanely good. Holy crap. All right, next, kills all zombies, when, uh, nearby zombies when you are near death. Dude, he's just, he's just slowly buffing himself up into an ultra beast whenever, uh, whenever he fills up his fate and fortune cards. Okay. Big max ammo. Max ammo. Places talisman. All right. So he has three talismans done out of five. Let's split the arena in half. It's fine. Dude, he literally knows each one of Mephistopheles' attacks and exactly how much time he can spend on this rune filling it up. It's really impressive, actually. Like, incredibly impressive to have every single attack memorized, and especially one like Mephistopheles. And to, like, maximize the time you're spending standing on the rune. There we go. Rune done. Dude, it's literally clockwork. Like, there's no wasted time at all. All right, so here he goes. He's gonna make it nighttime. Some more, some more cryptids. Cause LOL, of course he is. I can't get over how cool this reticle is, dude. I literally can't get over how cool this reticle is. Oh, he missed one zombie. Oh, so every single headshot he's getting is refilling his gun. God, that is busted. That is actually busted. Also, the, the fact that no none of the meteors hit this spot right here. This, this boss fight is all about just like learning the tips and tricks and like learning the attacks and stuff like that. All right, here we go. Last rune already. Holy crap. Like, has there actually been any sort of waste of time at all? I know how hard this is because it took forever to get a sub 10 minutes in the map. Casual fire tornado, it's fine. It's fine, everybody, everybody catches a fire tornado sometimes. All right, he's almost done with it. And here he goes. There's another max ammo to use. Okay, there was another one done. Okay, so here he's gonna actually have to kill this guy, I'm pretty sure. Or this is the last one, and then it's the... Or it's... This is the last one, right? Increases the damage of headshots. So he has increased damage to headshots, increased damage after reloading. Uh, if any, if he gets close to death, it's gonna kill all the zombies around him. Um, and if he gets a headshot, it reloads his current weapons magazine. On a 260 round LMG. 
No, that seems fair. The meltage, bro! And he has explosive touch ready for the final phase where he actually has to shoot Mephistopheles to death. Which is gonna allow him to just, you know, tank zombies left and right. Bro, the actual buff is insane. Alright, he's got the max ammo, place the talisman. Bro, such a cool boss fight. Oh my god. Such a cool boss fight. All right, I believe this is it. I believe this is how he makes him uh, vulnerable. This be it, this do be it. All right, here we go. Oh, did he miss? He sucks. Runs over, he missed a soul. Bro, how do you even see that? You don't even see that. Don't lie. Wait, so this is the reloading? Explosive touch. Yeah, so here he goes. Yeah, quick little headshot to, re to regen. It's fine. Spawning in the clowns from Zombies in Spaceland. He literally just never has to reload this gun. This is, this is silly. Look at the instant reloads and then he gets more. I'm pretty sure because of the reload, he gets increased damage as well. So all the zombies as well are, are dying as soon as they touch him. Because he has explosive touch, which is about to run out actually. This is, this is ridiculous. He hasn't stopped firing in 45 minutes. Yep, it's almost time for a reload. Okay, he, he needs to act, he's already activating all the talismans. Dude, this boss fight is amazing. All right, this is where he tries to do the wipe attack right here. So if you don't kill him right here, he just destroys you. Wow. Wow. What a fight. 957. As far as I know, that is the current standing world record. There's no like world record website or anything like that for Infinite Warfare. So I assume that's it. If it isn't, let me know. I'd be happy to react to another one of those because holy crap, that was insane. Guys, make sure you please go subscribe to Burrow, who, who got the Mephistopheles, and Plasma Jeff, who got the Beast from Beyond. Uh, huge props to both of them. Literally unbelievable feats. Like actually out of this world, unbelievable. I don't know how people do this. They are way better zombies than I will ever be. Pain and suffering.